something against you. But they're going to hurt you. God saved you by His grace when you believed in this. You can't take credit for this. It's a gift of God. You didn't do it. God gave it to you. A lot of Christians walking around really obnoxious people because they're trying to be good enough to receive salvation and it's just toxic and sin. They're trying to be good enough and you can't. Verse 9. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we've done, so none of us can boast about it. Here, Paul says very clearly, you've been saved. Tyranny, abuse, addictions, mediocrity. You have been saved. My friends, this is not the point of this message, but let me tell you something. If you don't know this yet, I don't care if you don't get anything else, you have been saved. If that's all you get, that ain't what we're talking about today, but if that's all you get, that's enough. You've been blessed to go home. Well, I'd love for you to stay here the rest of the sermon, but if you want. You've been saved, and it's not by anything you've done. It's not how pretty you are, how good your haircut is, or how much money you have in the bank, or how much money you paid off on Financial Peace University, praise God. It is because God said to you, I choose to give this to you, and you've got it, okay? Now, look what happens, because it's a fulfillment of what salvation is. Let's look at verse 10. For we are God's masterpiece. That's cool. That is cool. The new first service. New, the new first service. The new and improved and revised first service. Or the multi-purpose room. We changed the ambiance of the room, hung up a couple of lights, put some colors on them. Looks kind of cool. Can't see them now, you gotta come first service. Sorry, no luck for you. <laughs> Coolest working room in the entire church just because there's like something other than fluorescent lights happening. That's why I didn't I got to get up and hang lights. It's been years since I've done lighting. I did an event in Winnipeg where I designed a lighting rig and we had, ah, I don't remember how many lights, but it was like 50, 60, 70, 80 lights. And it was beautiful. I got pictures. It is, a, it is my masterpiece in lighting. It's been years since I got to do lighting. Two lights is nothing. That is like, there's lights. This was a masterpiece with angles and big trusses and lights on trusses and big aircraft landing lights that are, you know, the good old 80s rock look where you have the big beams of light. May my 80s friends unite with me for just a second. You're all going to have a moment. And smoke. Lots and lots of stinking smoke. It is my masterpiece. Out of everything that I've done, it is the best show I ever did. Out of the entire universe, out of galaxies upon galaxies and universes upon universes, you are God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece. Now, you can laugh at that because you look at yourself and say, I looked at myself this morning in the mirror, <laughs> and holy cow, that's not a masterpiece. <laughs> you can argue with me all you want, but God said it in His Word. Amen. You are God's masterpiece. 